Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we are going to look for the enumeration and privilege escalation. Now, what is basically enumeration is either uh, you are not only gathering information about the target or the in individual, but also you are trying to make a certain active connection within that target organization or with the individual system. This is actually your enumeration though it's called that enumeration is also known as information gathering next we have privilege escalation privilege escalation basically deals with stealing of the uh, privileges rights of the user and somewhat you can say the uh, gaining access or maintaining access on the target or the individual system so over here i am targeting this metasploitable to as the target machine which carries the IP address that is 192.168.84.130 and I am using another OS that is Kali for the target. Now the very first thing is that I am going to use nmap script for HTTP enumeration. So for that I have the command that is nmap for ports I am specifying the port that is port 80 where your HTTP is working by default and the script I am using is HTTP enum for the target so it will give you the information uh, the port state and certain pages which are vulnerable so right now it fetches the output that port 80 is of TCP which is currently open and the service is actually HTTP next as you know we have checked for the HTTP enum so it displays me certain pages that has been used by this target organization right now and there are certain pages which is potentially vulnerable or you can say that page is able to give me a detailed information so for this let's go to the browser so over here in browser i am specifying the target machine name that is http and the respective ip or address of that target so the very first page the home page of this ip address or the target you can say it's that vulnerable because it's giving me the login info itself that is msf admin uh, is the username and the password as well as now let's uh, check whether that particular pages which is saying that it carries certain kind of information is actually uh, giving you the information or not so over here it says that php info or php is a possible information file so php is a one kind of a database which carries certain information so over here this php does not state the version but also it's stating me the os that is ubuntu 5.10 so the very first thing from this page which i am getting is this php version and the os information next if you are able to see that i am getting the system information like on which system it is that system uh, server version uh, the server api uh, the configuration file path the threads uh, the registry stream file stock transport also various other file which are currently uh, off on disabled enabled so these are the information which are very useful uh, for the attackers to penetrate in your system and also for the security expert to check for any kind of loophole or vulnerabilities there or not now let's see whether this login credential will actually going to help us to uh, go in the uh, system or not so for this i am using ssh so uh, ssh but if you see it's displaying a certain error which says that you don't have any matching host key over here either you have to use rsa or dss so for that we have to use this particular command which is talking about the host key so let's check whether this output is going to help us or not. So this command is going to help. Okay, so this command is working successfully in asking for, for the password. So as we know, the password is also MSF admin. And over here, if you are able to see, we are getting the 
output or you can say that we are able to uh, log into the metasploitable uh, command line which is msf admin at the rate metasploitable now let's check uh, only we are able to view the content or modify so i am using some command that is ls and it's stating me the two directories or you can say files which are available so let's check for more about it so over here sorry so over here it's stating me it's kali output and vulnerable both are the directory now let's check uh, we can create the directories or uh, we can modify the files or just we are able to have basic credential so over here i am trying to make ssh underscore output is a one kind of file let's check it has been created so on my system it's visible for me that i have now three different directory that is kali output ssh output and vulnerable but is it created on the remote connection so let's see for that as well so yes it has successfully created or you can say updated on the remote host as well so uh, right now uh, i am able to log in to the remote credentials uh, from the remote area and also i am able to make and manage all these basic commands you can say or admin privileges uh, with me because right now i am the admin user of this particular system or this particular target so anything which has been done by me on this particular uh, system will reflect on the actual system so this is where you can go for the privilege escalation now if you exit you are you will be successfully logged out and your connection is closed so that's how you can go for the enumeration and privilege escalation using the certain and map scripting command that is http enum so i hope you got to how to use this particular scripts to go for uh, enumeration and privilege escalation so thank you so much